So now we'll see some example based on the trigonometry ratios of complementary angles as well as on the trigonometry entities. So first we'll write down the question based on the following topic. First question is uh, evaluate evaluate sec square 54 minus cot square 36 upon cosec square 57 minus 10 square 33 plus 2 sin square 38 into sec square 52 minus sin square 45 plus 2 by root 3 10 17 into 10 60 into 10 73 so we need to find out the value of this expression so accordingly we will uh, do this one by one that is we will first all the first part that is uh, sec square 54 minus cot square 36 upon cosec square 57 minus 10 square 33 so first we will solve this part so what we need to do is as you see that sec square 54 we don't do not know the value of sec square 54 so what we can do is we can convert this into some complementary angles like suppose if we write it as sec square uh, let's say 90 minus 36 minus cot square 36 divided by in the same way we'll do it in the denominator so suppose we can write uh, cosec square as let's say cosec square 90 minus 33 minus 10 square 33 so accordingly we have uh, converted into some complementary angles now as we know that uh, sec 90 minus theta is cosec theta so definitely we can write it as cosec square 36 minus cot square 36 divided by now cosec 90 minus theta is actually in the form of cosec 90 minus theta so it is equal to sec theta so it means it will be sec square 33 minus 10 square 33 and now if we simplify it what we can get is this is actually in the form of cosec square theta minus cot square theta that is the identity one identity we have studied that is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta so it means cosec square theta minus cot square theta will be equal to 1 in the same way we have studied that you know, 1 plus 10 square theta is equal to sec square theta it means sec square theta minus 10 square theta will be equal to 1 so it means 1 by 1 will get the value of this as 1 so in this way we, we have solved the first part now our second part was now we can solve our second part and second part is uh, 2 sin square 38 into sec square 52 now what we can do for this part is as you can see uh, 2 sin square 38 into sec square 52 definitely we do not know the value of sin 38 or sec 52 so definitely we need to convert it into some complementary angle so we can convert sec square 52 as we can write sec as sec 90 minus 38 square so definitely it is actually in the form of sec 90 minus theta so this can be written as 2 sin square 38 into sec 90 minus theta will be written as cosec theta that is cosec square 38 and now as we know that 2 sin square 38 and uh, cosec square 38 both are reciprocal of each other that means we can write cosec square 38 as 1 upon sin square 38 so this thing and this thing will get cancelled and we get get the answer of this part as 2 so accordingly we have solved the second part now our third part was sin square 45 so uh, that will be equal to sin square 45 we know as that sin 45 is 1 by root 2 so 1 by root 2 whole square will be equal to 1 by 2 and accordingly our last part was uh, 2 by uh, root 3 10 17 into 10 60 into 10 73 so that will be equal to 2 by root 3 now 10 17 can be written as 10 90 minus 73 so 10 90 minus 73 if you convert it into 10 90 minus 73 into 10 60 10 60 we know as root 3 and into 10 73 we we'll keep it in the same as 10 73 so now if we simplify it what we will get as 2 by root 3 into 10 90 minus theta is cot theta it means it will become cot 73 into root 3 into 10 73 so this root 3 and root 3 will get cancelled and as we know that 10 theta and cot theta are reciprocal of each other it means 
2 into this can be written as 1 by 10 73 into 10 73 this and this will get cancelled so the uh, answer of this part is uh, again 2 and now we combined all these parts so first part the answer of first part will got it as 1 answer of second part we we'll, uh, got it as 2 answer of third part we got it as 1 by 2 and, and the answer of last part we got as 2 so that will be equal to 5 minus 1 by 2 and that will be equal as 9 by 2 so this is the answer we got of the expression which is given to us so in this we have studied both in, the, in this we have studied our trigonometry identities also and as, as well as the trigonometry ratios of complementary angles so in this way we can solve the question based on this so in this part if you observe this I have not converted uh, this both 1017 and 1073 in, into cot or any other complementary angle or any or in the form of any trigonometry identity I have converted only one of these because if you convert only one of these that is 1017 I have converted it will become cot 73 and in the same way cot 73 and 1073 will get cancelled with each other because both are reciprocal of each other so that's why I have converted only one part so in this way you have to observe that which part to be converted and how we can further simplify it now we'll solve some more question based on this first we'll write down the question prove that prove that cosec 65 plus theta minus sec 25 minus theta minus 10 55 minus theta plus cot 35 plus theta will be equal to 0 so we have to we need to prove this part so how we can prove this is if we, uh, we need to start with our LHS part so LHS part will be equal to cosec 65 plus theta minus sec 25 minus theta minus 10 55 minus theta and plus cot 35 plus theta so this is the LHS part now what we can do our LHS part is definitely we need to use the uh, trigonometry ratios of complementary angles so definitely what we can write it as here as cosec 65 plus theta can be written as cosec 90 minus 25 minus theta because if you simplify this 90 minus 25 minus theta we will again get 65 plus theta now in the same way I will not convert this sec 25 minus theta because uh, cosec 90 minus theta is sec theta so definitely I will get something in the form of sec so that's why I am not converting this sec part now again minus 10 55 minus theta I will keep the uh, same and now I convert this cot into some complementary angle so it will become 10 then so it will we can write it as cot 90 minus 55 minus theta because cot 90 minus theta is 10 theta now I, what I can do is this cosec 90 minus theta this whole will become theta so cosec 90 minus theta so it will become sec theta that is sec 25 minus theta minus sec 25 minus theta now minus 10 55 minus theta and plus this cot 90 minus theta will convert it into 10 theta that is 10 55 minus theta so now I have converted into sec and 10 now sec 25 minus theta and minus sec 25 minus theta will get cancelled in the same way minus 10 55 minus theta and plus 10 55 minus theta will get cancelled and I will get as 0 so this is our equal to our RHS part so hence proved so in this way we can prove it and accordingly we first need to analyze which part to be converted into complementary angle or any trigonometry identities to be used where so then only we can be able to solve the question properly now we'll see uh, some more question based on this first we'll write down the question is prove that prove that cot theta minus tan theta will be equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 upon sin theta into cos theta so LHS part will is equal to so definitely we start with LHS part so LHS will be equal to cot theta minus tan theta so now what, what we can do is as you see the, our RHS part is actually in the form of sin and cos so definitely we need to convert our LHS part that is cot and tan in the form of sin and cos so cot theta is equal to cos theta upon sin theta minus tan theta is equal to sin theta upon 
cos theta. Now we will take the LCM. So LCM will be our sin theta into cos theta. So now it will become cos square theta minus sin square theta. This will our this will be our numerator now. And now as you see in the RHS part, uh, denominator now is same. That is sin theta into cos theta. We have converted our LHS in the uh, LHS part denominator is same as that of the RHS denominator, mm -hmm. but our numerator is different now. The numerator is actually in the form of cos. It means we definitely need to convert this sin into cos. So this cos square theta will be remain same, and this sin square theta will be written as one minus cos square theta. Because if you see that uh, sin th square theta plus cos square theta will be equal to one, it means sin square theta is equal to one minus cos square. Theta. So accordingly. This cos square theta minus 1 plus cos square theta upon sin theta into cos theta. Now, this cos square theta minus 1 plus cos square theta will be equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 upon sin theta into cos theta. So, accordingly, we will got our RHS part. So, in this way, we need to analyze which part to be converted or which identity to be used. So, like in this, we have converted the sin square theta into cos square theta because in our RHS part we required cos square theta in the numerator. That's why we have converted only sin square theta. And accordingly, we will got our RHS part. Now, we will see some more example based on this. Uh, first, we will write down the question. So, our question is prove that, prove that cosec A minus sin A into sec a minus cos a into tan a plus cot a is equal to 1. So, we need to prove this that our LHS part will be equal to 1. So, how we can do it, do it is, what we can do accordingly is, if you see our LHS part, LHS part is cosec a minus sin a. So, now what we can do here is, we, uh, we can convert this cosec into sin in the form of sin only. So, it will become 1 by sin a minus sin a because cosec is the reciprocal of sin. In the same way, we will convert this sec into cos. So it will become 1 by cos a minus cos a. And accordingly, we will convert this again into sin and cos because we are converting the remaining two parts in the form of sin and cos. So definitely, we convert this tan a and cot a into the form of sin and cos. So tan a will become sin a upon cos a and cot a will become cos a upon sin a. So now accordingly we will solve it as 1 minus, we will take the LCM in this part. So it will become 1 minus sin square a upon sin a. In the same way 1 minus cos square a upon cos a and in the same way we will take LCM. So accordingly we get sin square a plus cos square a upon sin a into cos a. Now, this 1 minus sin square a will become cos square a upon sin a into 1 minus cos square a will become sin square a upon cos a and into sin square a plus cos square a will become 1 as it, as it is the identity and divided by sin a into cos a. Now, if you see here, that this uh, sin a and this sin a will multiply it will become sin square a. So it means this sin square a will get cancelled with this two sin a and in the same way this cos square a will, will get cancelled with this cos a into cos a. So as all things are get, get cancelled so accordingly we will get equal to 1. So that will be equal to our RHS hence root. So in this way we need to solve the questions based on the trigonometry identities and trigonometry ratios of some complementary angles. Now we will see uh, some more example. So first we will write down the question based on this. So question is if sin theta plus cos theta is equal to m and sec theta plus cosec theta is equal to n then prove that n into m square minus 1 is equal to 2m. So we need to prove this thing. So now how, how we can do it is, as we need to prove this that our LHS n into m square minus 1 will be equal to 2m. So definitely we will start with our LHS part. So LHS is our n into m square minus 1 and accordingly we will keep the value of n and m. 
n is our sec theta plus cosec theta and m square minus 1. So m square minus 1 means it will become our sin theta plus cos theta whole square minus 1. Now we will simplify it. So accordingly we, what we can do we can convert this sin and sorry sec and cos sec into sin and cos. So it will become 1 by cos theta plus 1 by sin theta into this sin theta plus cos theta whole square will become sin square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sin theta into cos theta minus 1. So that will be equal to if we take the denominator uh, LCM here in the in this part we will get sin theta plus cos theta divided by sin theta into cos theta and in this part sin square theta plus cos square theta will become 1. So as it will become 1 so this part will get cancelled with this minus 1. So accordingly we will get only 2 sin theta into cos theta. And now if you see this sin theta into cos theta will again will get cancelled with this sin theta into cos theta. So our remaining part is 2 into sin theta plus cos theta. And as we know from the question that sin theta plus cos theta will be given as m. So it will become 2m. So that will be equal to our RHS as proof. So in this way we need to understand the question and accordingly we need to solve the question. And now we will see one more question based on this. So first we will write down the question is if theta is an acute angle, if theta is an acute angle and tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 2. So it is given that theta is an acute angle and tan, uh, tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 2. So we need to find the value of find value of tan 9 theta plus cot 9 theta. So accordingly we need to find out this value. So now what we can do here is so it, as it is given that tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 2. So now what we can do is we first need to find uh, find out the value of this uh, theta because if we, if we find out the value of this theta from tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 2 it is easier to keep the value in this part theta and accordingly find the value of tan theta raised to the power 9 plus cot theta raised to the power 9. So what we can do is we can convert here as tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 2 it is given. So what we can do we can convert this cot into tan so it will become 1 by tan theta is equal to 2. Now accordingly if we solve it we will get uh, this in the form of quadratic equation. So it will become tan square theta plus 1 is equal to 2 tan theta. So if we simplify it we will get tan square theta minus 2 tan theta plus 1 is equal to 0. And this if you see this tan square theta minus 2 tan theta plus 1 is actually in the form of tan theta minus 1 whole square and this will be equal to 0. So this tan, is, tan theta minus 1 whole square is equal to 0. So definitely this tan theta minus 1 is equal to 0. If we remove this square part, it will become tan theta is equal to 1. So tan theta is equal to 1, it means the value of theta can be equal to 45. Because for 45 degree only tan theta is equal to 1. So it means we got the value of this theta. And now for finding out the value of tan theta raised to the power 9, plus cot theta raised to the power 9 what we can do we can keep the value of theta here so it means 10 45 it will raised to the power 9 plus cot 45 raised to the power 9 and now 10 45 we know as 1 so it will become 1 raised to the power 9 plus and cot 45 is also equal to 1 so it means 1 raised to the power 9 so it means 1 raised to the power 9 is 1 and 1 raised to the power 9 is 1 so it will become 2 so this is the value of 10 raised to the power 9 uh, theta plus cot theta raised to the power 9. So this is the answer we got. So in this way we need to solve the question based on this trigonometry.